Hey, 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 guys. How are you guys? How are you guys? Just making sure I got everything right here. Yeah, how's everybody doing? Hope all you guys are doing well today. Hey, Samantha, how are you? So nice to see all of you. We are going to be talking all things diaper cake business. For those of you that don't know, you guys know that I started my diaper cake business back in 2009, did that for a few years, and now I'm teaching other moms how to start their diaper cake business. So today... Just a little background about me. My diaper cake business was called the Latursa Diaper Cakes. Um, it started back in 2010. My children at that time were still in diapers and pull-ups. And I wanted a way to come home from the nine to five hustle and bustle, which at that time, I, I think I was really only working just to pay child care because I think I had maybe $20 left out of my check every two weeks. Mind you, I was an administrative assistant at a local hospital, and so I was very, very frustrated, you guys, on how can I make more money but also be home with my children and at the same time do something that I love. In my background, I love crafts. I love everything crafts. And you couldn't tell me that I was not the bomb.com. So... There are some mistakes that I made. And just like so many of you as new diaper cake business owners, you um, tend to, you know, make some mistakes. And we all do. But the thing of it is, is when you learn better, you can do better. So here are um, some things that I did or some things that new diaper cake business owners do in the very beginning days. Um, the first mistake um, I made was when I first started my diaper cake business, I was so excited and anxious. You guys, how many of you feel excited when you get a diaper cake, um, sale? I was still working my nine to five and I would get the little notification from PayPal, excuse me, PayPal that I just received, um, a sale. So my mind is so super, super excited. Mind you back then when I first started, it was, you can hit me up on uh, eBay or on Etsy and say you want to purchase a cake. And I would go ahead and start um, designing a diaper cake, just all happy, nilly willy. And the biggest mistake I made was not requiring a deposit. I had so many people order diaper cakes for me from Craigslist, uh, from Facebook, and they would be all hyped and everything, wanting to buy the cake. And I'd be excited because I'm thinking I'm taking them at their word that they are actually going to buy this diaper cake. So I learned very early on after getting burnt that you need to require a deposit when you first start your diaper cake business. You need to require a deposit, meaning if the diaper cake is 50 to 60 something dollars, then you need to require a percent down deposit. That way, that's insurance that not only are they going to get their diaper cake, but you are going to get paid the remaining balance because nobody is going to pay half on a diaper cake and then not show up and come and get the, the remaining part. So hold on one moment, you guys, because my phone is dying. Hold on one moment. All right, you guys, my phone was dying, so I had to put it on the charger. But what I was seeing is most diaper cake owners, when they first begin, they be so super excited, you guys, and they don't require a deposit. And that is the quickest way 
for you to get burnt and for you to lose out on a lot of money. Because mind you, the diaper cake, depending on what type of diaper cake it is, you are buying receiving blankets, you're buying pacifiers, you're buying um, you're buying all these things in a box of diapers. Y'all know that's like already $20 to $25 off the bat. And so if you're making these diaper cakes and people are canceling their orders and you haven't received a deposit, guess what? That's just money wasted because if it's a specific theme diaper cake, nobody else is going to want to purchase that. And you're going to have to end up making it low sale so that you can get rid of it. That's why it's so super important, you guys, to make, to require a deposit up front. You need to put that in your terms, in your disclosures, your 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 policy and all of that good stuff. And I talk a lot more about this in the diaper cake, um, the diaper cake um, business course, because I tell you all the good, the bad of how you can start a successful diaper cakes uh, business, because it is a lucrative business. It is a creative and fun business. But if you don't do the right things in the beginning, you will suffer in the end. And then the next mistake that I see a lot of new diaper cake business owners make, and myself included, because I made all of these, um, only posting on social media about your diaper cakes. You are not informing them. You are not educating them on diaper cakes. You are just all on social media. Buy this, buy my diaper cake, buy this diaper cake. Instead, what you should do instead of just posting about your diaper cakes, because I, I know they're beautiful. We all know they're beautiful. But when people don't know about diaper cakes, they want to know why should I purchase the diaper cake? You know, what are the benefits of getting a new mom a diaper cake? These are the things you need to be informing your potential customers on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Don't just post, post, post. Nobody wants to be sold to all the time every day. And that was a mistake that I made in the beginning because guess what? Nobody knows you. You're just new. You're coming on the scene. Nobody knows you from Adam or Cheryl. So you have to make it up in your mind that you're not only going to promote your business, but you're also going to, to educate them. And when I say educate, I mean, tell them about the, the great qualities of a diaper cake. Tell them why your diaper cakes are so special. Those are the things that people are looking for. They can buy diaper cakes from anybody, but what sets you apart from your competitors? And that is a lot of what I talk about in the diaper cake business course, because you need to know who your competitors are, because you need to know what the market will bear and what clients and customers are already searching for on the web. Because nine times out of 10, if you're in the diaper cake business, there's always going to be room for growth, room for making money. Because guess what? People are having babies every day. People are getting married every day. People are always looking for a unique type of diaper cake or a unique type of wedding gift, birthday gifts, you can do so much with a diaper cake business. It's not just limited to diaper cakes. You can add so many other great, creative, unique gifts. But at the same time, when you're just starting out, you need to build up your no like, and trust factor. And when I say build your no like, and trust factor up, I'm talking about people need to, people buy into your brand. You, you are your brand. They can get a diaper cake anywhere. But what is it about you that stands out from the rest of the competition? Because believe you me, when I first started, there were not a lot of brown skin moms in the business. I'm not even sure if there still are, because most of the moms that were in the diaper cakes industry were Caucasian moms. And I'm not saying that to be mean or anything like that. I'm just speaking from experience. When I came on the scene, I was like one of the few brown skin moms out there with the diaper cake business and me reaching out and trying to get help. Nobody wanted to help me. If I reach out to people, they thought I was a threat because I was starting to get popular. They didn't want to give me information. And so I had to pretty much make the mistakes myself and learn the hard way because when I was reaching out to the competitors in the industry, they didn't per se want to help me for whatever reason. And so my advice to you is educate yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Find somebody 
that's been where you're trying to go. And if you have to invest a little money, do that because it will save you thousands of dollars in the long run because I was the freebie girl. When I tell y'all, I YouTube and Google everything when I started my business because in my mentality back then was, why am I going to give you $97 when I ain't even made $20 yet? Like, come on, that doesn't even make like simple math. Like, okay, you want me to give you some money. Where am I going to get this money from again? So that was my mentality. So I was that freebie girl. I looked up everything. And a lot of things I learned how to do because when you don't have the money to invest, you got to invest your time and your efforts. So I did a lot of researching. I did a lot of Googling because at that time, I didn't have the funds to invest. And this is what I will say. Don't allow other people to make you feel bad because you can't invest on the level that they want you to. Because I had a lot of guilt trip back when I started out because people would come to me, want me to invest in their $1,300 program. Mind you now, I had two little ones at the house. We were living on a one income household. I, I didn't even have $200. Let's just keep it real. I didn't even have $200. And you asking me for $1,300. Imagine me going to my then husband asking him for $1,300. Yeah, that wouldn't have went over real good. So I had to find other ways to invest. And when I finally, after the first three years in business, when I wasn't making any money and I was in a negative $3,000, I finally broke even, you guys. And that was only because... I saved all my money from my diaper cake sales and I invested in a $97 coaching session with a woman that was in the diaper cake industry. So she taught me so much. I knew a lot, but when you have the mindset that you want to keep growing and learning, you open yourself up to receive more. Because if you're that type of person, you think you know everything and you don't want any help, then you're going to stay stuck. And making the mistake of only just posting about your cakes, all of that stuff is a big turnoff to people because nobody wants to be sold to 24 seven. Every time they talk to you, you telling them, buy this diaper cake, buy that diaper cake. Nobody wants to hear all of that 24 seven. What is it in people come to you because they want to know what is in it for them. They not, they don't care if your cakes are the best of the best. They still want to know what is in it for them. And until you understand that, you're going to keep turning your fingers. You're going to keep turning your thumbs because, mind you, I um, started back when it was like, it was very, people did, people had heard about diaper cakes, but they still didn't really know about it. I had family. And here's another thing. Don't get so caught up in your feelings when your family and friends don't understand what your hustle is. They don't understand what your business is, what you do all day. Don't do like I did and get your feelings and be like, all oh, like, oh, nobody wants to support me. And here's the thing. A lot of times your biggest supporters are strangers. People that have never met you, probably never will meet you, but they are your biggest supporters. And the people that know you, your family, they got to sit back and watch other people, see if other people going to support you. Then they might get on the bad way. And then there's a chance they still might not get on. So you got to build some tough skin in this thing called entrepreneurship, period. And never mind diaper cakes, because a lot of people don't even see how you can make money with diaper cakes. I heard that all the time, you guys. Why are you selling diaper cakes? Nobody going to pay you for no diapers. I said, okay. And I loved when people doubt me. I love when people tell me I can't do something. And so that was a lot of my motivation to prove people wrong, which looking back at it, you'd be forever trying to prove people wrong. So you might as well just do what you do best and just let it be. But the second thing, the third thing is mistakes that diaper cake business owners make is they don't build a list when they first get started. Here's the thing. How is your business going to grow if you don't have anybody to sell to? And some gurus will tell you, you don't have to worry about building a list at the beginning. And then some tell you, you do. Well, I'm going to tell you, you do. Because at the end of the day, you don't own social media. You don't own Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You don't own any of those platforms. If they decide to go out of business today, 
you will be left probably going bankrupt because you don't have any clients. That's why it's so very important for you to build your list. And, and I talk a lot about that, you guys, in my Diaper Cake business course on how to build your list starting out, what things you can create. I show you how to create your free offer, how to create that so that you can start building your list at the beginning. Because once your business starts to grow, you're going to need some people that have already bought from you. When you start to expand and you start to get more clientele, you start to get a more... Um, um, I even give you an example of the price list that I have for my diaper cakes. All of this stuff is inside of the diaper cake um, business course. And I'm going to put the link up in a, in a few. But what I'm saying to you is you have to build a list because the money is in the list. Have you guys heard that saying before? The money is in the list. Well, it is true. The money is in the list, but you got to have a list first. And being on social media, I always tell people being on social media is where you introduce yourself to your potential clients. But in order for them to get to learn more about you, you invite them to your hub, to your house, which is your website. That's why it's so super important to not rely on sites like Etsy, sites like um it's important for you not to rely on sites like eBay because all of those sites are super saturated and you're going to be going up against competition that's been killing the game for years. But now you're on the scene. You're a newbie. Nobody knows you. But when you get your own website and you invite people to your own hub, that is when you truly start to really see potential in your business. That's when you start to really see the potential of your business grow because here's the thing all of us have made mistakes and all of us have are going to continue to learn and continue to make mistakes but the thing is when you learn better you can do better and so my advice to you is start building your list early like when you first get really serious about your business that's why i say you need to grab the um, diaper cake. I'm going to put the um, link here for you guys so that you can grab this course because hold on one moment, you guys. Because once you get tired of the course, the course is going to walk you through everything you need to know starting a diaper cake business. Hold on one moment, you guys. Hold on one moment.